Josh and Caleb. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a great 2022. Uh, it's the new year now. We are officially into 2023. Uh, look forward to the adventures that await. Uh, but I thought we'd close 2022 with the best and worst of video. Now this is... I thought about just doing movies, but there were a lot of good and bad shows this year, so this is just best and worst, and we'll get to some honorable and dishonorable mentions, as well as some surprises this year. Uh, let's see, we'll, we'll just start with the, the worst, uh, we're doing five worst, five best, five dishonorable and honorable mentions, and five surprises. A lot of people do this thing, kind of video, so I thought close 2022 with a best and worst list. Uh, I guess we'll just start with the worst. <laughs> Get that out of the way, right? Uh... Coming in number five was a Pixar film that should not have been made because we had a whole animated series about this, and that is Lightyear. Uh, now the cat kind of saved the robot cat kind of saved the movie for me, <laughs> and like the first thirty minutes or so are pretty good. But once they time jump and it becomes a whole thing about him continually going and trying to figure it out. And then he fights an uh, older version of himself who is Zerg, which doesn't make any sense at all. Because the animated series we got was amazing. And it's like Disney just kind of push that under the rug. No, we're going to get a mega star and Chris Evans to do the voice and put all this money into it and you're going to enjoy it. But we didn't. It wasn't that good. <laughs> so, light year, number five, worst of the year. Uh, number four could have been a lot higher, but there were three things worse than this. <laughs> And that is Thor, Love and Thunder. Uh, I mean, what what do you say about it? Except it was, it was not funny. The jokes did not land. They wasted Christian Bale. They waited, wasted Chris Hemsworth. And Taika Waititi just had way... Too much control over this film. Uh, he's the best when he can like balance comedy with drama, like Jojo Rabbit or Thor Ragnarok. That that was him at his best, but uh, yeah, he just missed a whole lot with this movie. Uh. I'll probably watch it again, just to see. <laughs> uh, and there are a few other Marvel things on this list. So, yeah. Hopefully Phase 5 is much better than Phase 4. Although there is one Marvel that is on my best of the year. So, stay tuned for that. Number three is one I just recently watched, and that is Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Wow. Wow. 
It is so bad. It is fresh on my mind. I just watched it last night. Uh, where was that $5 million budget? That's why I know. Because it looked like they were all... It, it was all shot in one room, and they just did a bunch of green screen, and man, that was some bad green screen. The car windows, it looks like they took it from, like, a PlayStation 1 video game or something. So bad, I love it, does not line up when the guy throws a spear off of the tower, and the bats look really bad. Oh, so many things wrong with this movie. And I was excited because Dee Wallace is in it. But she, her and this, this other person, you don't even know who they are or anything. Uh, they basically recreate the first Jeepers Creepers opening scene. But instead of the... The people coming back to do that, it's D. Wallace and a, a older guy, and they recreate the opening scene, and then it's like a urban legend special or something. Very weird. CGI is awful. Weird story. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's where we are on Reborn. Definitely trade it in. Do not buy Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Save your money. I would probably recommend RIPD2 over Jeepers Creepers Reborn. It's not my worst list. Of course, I haven't seen it yet. So, uh, Coming in at number two is Halloween Ends. I saw, well, I tried to watch... I tried three times to watch Halloween Ends. Fell asleep every single time. It is one of the most boring horror films I've ever seen. Now I get he was trying to do something new, and that's great. I mean, Halloween 3, we got something new. That That's actually a fun horror movie. A lot of people don't like that. I kind of do like it. It's different. You know, Season of the Witch with the Mask. This was not that. This was, like, trying to, I guess, pass the torch on to this this kid, which Halloween has done before with Jamie and, you know, uh, even Friday the 13th tried to do that with Corey Feldman. <laughs> but I don't... I mean, it's the final, well, they say, the final Halloween film, and Michael Myers is, like, barely in it. He's a few scenes throughout, and he just shows up at the end, and that's, that's it. <laughs> like, I don't get it, but... Maybe it worked for you. Maybe you like it. But it makes Halloween Kills look like a masterpiece. <laughs> and it was not. <sighs> so we'll move on. I could I could do a whole video just on Halloween ends. But the worst form of entertainment we got in 2022... Probably not a surprise to most of you. It's probably on your number one. Some of you might like it. That's that's okay. And I, I did like parts of the show. But that is She-Hulk. <laughs> wow. Uh, if you're going to write a show about a lawyer, learn some, you know, common language that lawyers use or you know how to make a a, a scene with everybody <laughs> oh okay i did like episodes in this uh when daredevil shows up that's probably the best one of the best episodes the first episode 
when Hulk is there is great, and uh, Tatiana is great as Jennifer Walters. It's just they kind of lose their way in the the finale. It's just like you threw all that away for like a joke, I guess. Like you're building all this, all these storylines up, and then you just throw them away, and she just, you know says what she wants to happen, and that's... Anyway, so She-Hulk is number one. Really quick, we'll do some dishonorable mentions. Uh, Hocus Pocus 2, which I did enjoy a little bit. The story made no sense. That's why it's not my top five worst. Was a dishonorable mention... Uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness also enjoyed, but it was a disappointment. Uh, Munsters was a disappointment, but I did enjoy it. Overall, if you focus on the budget you had and what we got, it wasn't what we thought we were going to get, but it was still enjoyable. Uh, Morbius, on the other hand, was not. <laughs> Very bad film. Uh, same with The Kingsman. Very boring. Uh, Matthew Vaughn is kind of stuck in this, doing this Kingsman universe, and I guess he's just going to keep doing movies and stuff. That's fun. I didn't enjoy this one or the second one. And Firestarter almost made the worst list, uh, but those five were worse than the Firestarter remake. All right, let's get to, before we get to our best, let's get to some movies or shows that surprised me how good they were this year. Uh, first one being the League of Super Pets. I thought I was going to hate that. It's, it's kind of a dumb premise, but it does work mainly because Kevin Hart Steals the show. Uh, the Rock is pretty decent in it. Overall, pretty decent story about friendship. Uh, Boss Baby 2. I thought I was going to hate because I, I didn't care much for the first one. But against all odds, I loved <laughs> Boss Baby 2. Uh, family Business, is that what it's called? actually really enjoyed Boss Baby 2, and I, I cannot fathom how I'm saying that right now. Uh, Pearl was another surprise. I mean, it is a prequel to X, and I enjoyed that one, but was not sure what we were going to get with Pearl, and it actually turned out to be a pretty interesting film. Not really horror, if you think it's going to be like a big Slasher film is not. It's kind of a character piece that kind of builds up to that. Uh, then the next one is The Black Phone. Now I saw so many trailers promoting this and that was this great, you know, suspense kind of supernatural thriller. So I was intrigued and when I watched it, I really enjoyed it. Got my list here. Uh, then the last surprise of the year would be the revival of the mall on Netflix. I was not sure how the show was going to be. I'm a big fan of the mall, especially the celebrity mall seasons. So, uh, yeah, was a bit surprised at how good the revival was. I enjoyed all the contestants on it, even though I knew who the mole was pretty much from the first two episodes. But that was one of the surprises of the year. All right, now, well, let's do our honorable mentions before we do our top five best of the year. Uh, Turning Red, great Pixar movie. Pixar is... I mean, outside Lightyear, which I think Disney kind of made them do, uh, they 
they've been on fire the last few years with So and Turning Red and uh, Luca, which none of those got a theatrical release, and that's a bummer. Uh, but yeah, they've been on fire. I, I love Turning Red. Uh, the next one is a Disney Plus show, Andor, which I enjoyed. Uh, there are parts where it kind of slows down, but it builds to, you know, probably some of the best Star Wars content we've gotten outside of Mandalorian that Disney has done. So, if you haven't seen Andor, go check it out. Uh, the next thing is a horror show, Chucky. <laughs> really love Chucky. Uh, the last few movies I really enjoyed. Uh, Chad's play as a franchise is kind of all over the place. There would be a good sequel, then there would be a bad sequel, you know. It just kind of depends. The last couple movies I really liked, uh... The guy who voices Chucky, his daughter, was in the last couple movies. Her arc is pretty good. So, Chucky, season one, and we got season two this year, too. I don't have the streaming service that it's on. I even, for, is it Shudder? I don't know. Anyway, when Chucky season two comes out on DVD, I'll definitely watch it, but... Chucky Season 1, definitely an honorable mention. And Light and Magic, the docu-series, I guess you could say, on Disney+, Plus, all about Industrial Light and Magic, the special effects company George Lucas started when he was making Star Wars. That is a good docu-series. And then the last... Honorable mention is Scream, really Scream 5, but it's just called Scream, and we are getting Scream 6 uh, later in 2023, so look forward to that. Like the the re revamp, I guess you could say, of Scream, really enjoyed all the new characters. Okay, our best of 2022, starting with number five, is a Disney animated film, Encanto. I did not know if I would like Encanto. Uh, Disney has been on a little bit of a streak lately, except this year, with <laughs> Strange Road. Is it? I haven't seen that, but I hear it's really bad. But Encanto was really good, a good musical, really enjoyed it, probably more than I thought I would, definitely. Uh, that is number five, Encanto. Uh, number four is a Marvel special, Werewolf by Night. And i also add on here the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. I totally forgot about that until we were talking about that. So both uh, both specials that Marvel did this year were really good. So go check those out, especially Werewolf by Night and the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. They were both great. Uh, coming in at number three is Top Gun Maverick, which until a few months ago, well, weeks ago, I would have said that was my number one thing of the year. But it was very good. Love how they actually filmed in planes. You know, it wasn't just all CGI. It was practical. And I love Tom Cruise for that. He's always pushing, how can we get this, you know, in camera, doing it for real? How can we do that? He always pushes himself and the cast 
to do it practical. And I like that, Tom. Keep it up. Uh, number two is the Tim Burton show on Netflix Wednesday. Now, I was not sure what to expect with this show. I'm a big Tim Burton fan, obviously, but the last, I would say, decade, he's kind of very hit or miss. He's He did a lot of projects that didn't really fit his style. And Wednesday was a perfect fit, and he made up for the stop-motion animated film that he could not do on the Addams Family, which eventually became a CGI movie. I've talked about that before, but he came back, he decided to focus just on Wednesday as a character. Jenna Ortega was great. She's, she's the actress to look, I mean, she's the future of the movie going and TV going experience. She is so good. Uh, well, she crushed as Wednesday. Catherine Z. Jones was great as Morticia, and Louise was great as uh, Gomez. He is comic accurate. If I mean, everybody wanted Johnny Depp to be uh, Gomez. That would have been cool, but uh, Louise Goose, Gooseman, I think that's how you, how you say his name, he, he was really a perfect Gomez, and the young Morticia and Gomez they got were really good. Overall, great series. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Uh, her roommate is great too. Uh, I forgot her name. I think it's Emma in real life. I forgot what it is on the show. Wow. It's been months since I've seen it. So anyway. Yeah, she was great as well. And my number one thing of the year I just most recently watched Avatar Way of Water well <laughs> again I have a whole review coming well not the whole video but uh, we went to Goodwills and I did a review at the end when I saw after I saw it in theaters but yeah, James Cameron did it again, a great sequel that's action-packed, great story. One of the big weaknesses for me of the first Avatar, the story was not that great. It was kind of very basic, you know, it was mainly about the visuals, which were great. This one had everything, action, story. A family element, great characters, great CGI. Uh, yeah, so that was our best of the year. Avatar, The Way of Water, it's, it's close to 2 billion, so I don't know. Maybe it can do 3. I think it's at 1.4 something right now, so who knows? Maybe it get to 3. I don't think that can happen, but. I think it is a good chance at two. So that was our best and worst of 2022. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these kind of videos, maybe I'll do more in the future, like horror or Disney or comedy. Some, I'll figure it out. Shows, maybe. That would be interesting. But for right now, that was our best and worst of 2022 thanks for checking it out go check out my 500 subs video which just dropped recently go check that out thanks everybody for 500 subs <laughs> i said all that in that video all right that's going to do it i'm josh more videos coming as always and until then if i don't see you out thrifting or at walt disney world i will see you at the movies Go see Avatar again. I'm probably going to see you again this week. All right, bye.